cramps. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're on, I'm on. It's a double. This is a double. Slip it on it. Thread it on in. Like so. And then, yeah, chicken. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Badass Outdoors. I am out on the ocean today doing some more ocean kayaking. Kayaks, kayaks, kayaks. And in one of my last videos, we went out fishing for a rockfish. It was a blast. This time we're doing the same thing and we are going for crabs with castable crab traps. I will link all of the things that we are using in this trip below. So if you want to try it, um, those are the things that I like to use. Um, but here are some of the other things that we have tied up for the day. Bucktail jigs, gulp alive worms. We're in Hobie kayaks. I am super excited. I've never pushed off of the beach before. I've been, look at all the dories behind me. I've been watching all of them just, just like run off the beach. It is one of the coolest things that I've ever watched. I'm super excited to do this for the first time. And <clears throat> the waves don't look too bad. The swell seems like pretty fine, I think. Um, but thank goodness our friend Seth from Next Adventure is here. He is the expert, if you will, and we are definitely following his lead today. With me, I have Seth and Matt. They're way out there. They have to go park the trucks. Check this out. That is wild. I need to get a dory. What have I been doing with my life? Um, but anyways, once they get over here, the plan is to push out into the waves, get about waist deep, that's what Seth said, and then like jump in the kayaks, booty first, and pedal, 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 um, and try to get over the waves before things get too crazy. Now I am carrying the crab trap a nice light one so that should be fine and I will be the fish finder today exciting so we are using the Mirage Drive 180 um, Kobe kayaks today um, super excited about I fished out of these a couple of times now I'm still like kind of in the market for which kayak I'm going to get so it's been awesome to kind of get some exposure to kayak fishing figure out what I like and then set oh check it out whoa 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 Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, they like try to get it straight and they push it out. It always looks really sketchy, but they always know what they're doing and are just like, no, this is cool. We like being like jacked around by waves. <laughs> and then watch, they just like wait. They're like, cool, there's a big wave. Let's just, let's roll with Nyan. I like a big wave. Oh my gosh. This is wild to me and then they just like hammer down. But it's just almost time. So we'll launch off and then we'll update on the water. The draws you kind of pop in. You kind of just like, it's really hard to demonstrate on land. Sure. Um, but it's really important that like, you get in the boat when you hop in, you want to like, basically if you watch me do it, you guys can watch me go first if you want. 
Yeah. But I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna get like waist deep, I'm gonna pop my drive in, and I'm gonna yeah. wait for the right moment to launch, and then I'm gonna jump in the boat and start pedaling like hell. Okay. So, um, being able to just pop the drive in like while you're standing in the water, I guess it's easy enough. Like you guys can just watch me do it when we're standing out there. I was just gonna try to follow you. Is this not a good idea? Okay. No, that works. Okay. Follow me. I think I know how this works. <laughs> There you hey. go. Nice. Are you ready for this? Got a snot bubble. I think so. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go. It's heavier than I thought. That's way heavier than I thought. You got it? It's, it's heavier than I thought. They aren't light, are they? What you think? Good. Good. The drive should be able to pop in pretty soon. So just go ahead and stick your drives down in the wells and pop them in, make sure they lock in. I got wet. I got wet. Yeah, that like was, uh, in the face. It got a lot bigger since we got out here. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. That one tasted good. Yeah, nice and salty. Oh yeah. That was sick. Well, there you go. There's your first surf lunch. Woo! My crap.
check it out. Check it out. I might need to measure him. He doesn't look like 22, does he? Hey, Seth, can I come measure with you? Yeah, yeah. The rod handles that sling perfectly. Perfect. The rod handles this perfectly. My first sling caught on this rod. You like a reel? Oh, I love a reel. So good. Got a big one. that one oh 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 my goodness it is a bigger link called I definitely didn't think it was that Rock bass. Woo! It's a super baby ling. It's not, it's not, it's maybe like, I don't know. You wanna see my ling? Little guy. He's so cool. Hey, buddy. How are Ling Cod things been lately? Are Ling Cod things good lately? Hey! <laughs> Not hold up the three sign. He said he's got three. Three fish. Matt's just been over here just clobbering on him. That. There it is. See if I can get into that.
Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're on Ilon. It's a double. This is a double. Wow, that's a nice one. Think so? It looks like it. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, that's, that's nicer than mine. Can I bring it to you? Yeah. Look at that jig. That's excellent. Oh, excellent. I'll let mine go. Are you not keeping it? Uh, I'm gonna keep fishing. Are you able to grab them with your gloves? Yeah. Having fun? I'm having so much fun. Are you having fun? Yeah, this is great. It's nice to come out and actually catch fish. Yeah. Ooh, this feels more bassy, but I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Super baby Ling. Bye, buddy. So long. <laughs> I got him. Size ling number 50 of the day. Ah. We did it. They said no one could catch that many undersized ling. But we showed them. <laughs> Probably. Magic number. I got him hooked in a bad way. There we go. <laughs> right. Excellent. Calling it. Okay. Happy with that was a good one. Undersized. 86 undersized ling. And Matt, how many keepers do you think you threw back? Six or eight at least. <laughs> I'm not greedy. Wait for the one. Look who no. did things right today. Wait, wait for the one. At least. Me. It's me. I did. I did. Everybody else is doing a shit job at it. We got one person left to get. Is it hard to like mentally let yourself pee through clothing? Yeah. These are the things that we need to talk about. Huh? Yeah, like, but like through it, like you open up your pouch. Yeah. But when I have like that much clothing on, you know, and it's like you're just opened up enough to go potty, it's still, there's like a mental barrier because my body's like, no, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Don't beat me now. Right. When I get to it, I'm grabbing the buoy, pulling yep. it up. Yep, so pull up with the float on your left and then just take the float across the boat, put it back on the other side of you, like floating in the water, okay. and just feed the line to it and let it go away as you're pulling the trap up. Okay. And then we'll pick all the line back up. You just don't want to have a big pile of line like sitting in your lap while you're trying to deal with crabs. What's the best way for me to maneuver the pot onto the back of my kayak without falling off and flipping over? Um, well, you can either turn around and do it like if you want to. Yeah. Um, 
It's probably the easiest thing. Like you can kind of like get up in that boat. You, you can probably like slowly turn yourself around and sit on your knees like in the seat. I want a theme song like the deadliest catch when I do this. <laughs> okay. I really want to lean over and look, but I also want to stay in the kayak. <gasps> Crabs. He wants to grab your face yeah, and your fingers. Yeah. That's good, right? Uh, I can't see the marker. It's like so six. That brings like, <laughs> Fuck you guys, I got my own crab. Oh my gosh, he got one! <laughs> awesome. That's amazing! Way to go, Matt! That's a female. Is it female? It's like you have one more male and the other one might be a female. But I can't really. Right Crab hawk for the win. Female? Uh, is it narrow? Narrow or fat? Narrow's narrow is a male. Yeah. It's a male. Good job. Uh, I don't know if he's a keeper. Oh. Yeah. Here, I'm going to toss it to your lap, okay? Ready? Okay. What do they need? It's just got to be five and three quarters. Yeah, more than five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks, that's probably the biggest one, Matt. There might be one in here that's bigger than that, but that's a big crab. Keeper. Female. Female. See how uh, fat her belly is? She's not happy. Bye. That one's a female. Go back. And. That one is also a female. Bye bye. All 
right, let's see if I have one. Feels heavier than before, 100%. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? No? <laughs> it's a female. It's a female, and she look at her. She's still eating. Yeah, look at like, her. Oh, no, she no, doesn't no, even no. care that we're here. She doesn't even care. Crab hawks. Crab hawks for the win. So we want to come in pretty far left, but the water looks like it's coming up to the tree, and we don't want to end up on the other side of the tree because then we won't be able to get our cars over there. Okay. So we're gonna come in, I think, maybe just right of the tree. Okay. And uh, it's a little tricky because it's like big waves are kind of just coming in randomly. So I think the move is gonna be to wait for one of those big waves to like pass us. And then once it passes us, for us to kind of charge in behind it. Ooh, look at all the fishies. Jeez, these are big waves. Going for it. Because this wave is going to break. How to go under? Come on, Ash. Turned a little bit. We didn't come out of the boat, did you? Oh, right at the end there. Yeah. You were, yeah, I looked back for a second, you were just ripping on the face of that, and I was like, yeah, that's cool, let's see. Because, like, yeah, sometimes, you know, you get them nice and straight like that, but the problem with steering with the rudder is you just lose control. It's like, eventually the wave overpowers the rudder. Yeah, I... You've timed it, like, perfectly. You were just Not like... Not on purpose, just like... We did it. We did it. He did it, he did it, I did it, they did it, we did it, boom. So we're back on the beach. We're waiting for Seth to come down with his truck so we can load everything up. But this experience has been so incredible. I love this that you can kind of time a good, um, a nice like sunny day, time the tides just right. You can go out and actually have success relatively simply with not like a ton of fishing gear that we had out there. We just used bucktail jigs and gulp, um, grubs <laughs> um and then that's really it we were able to catch like uh, black sea bass ling cod and we brought the crab hawks and caught crab and we dropped a pot and caught a crab there's like a, such a variety of things to do out on the beach and now for the very best part which is we get to well maybe the very best part maybe the second best part to be determined we get to go and have a big seafood bake and boil and have crabs and fish tacos and all of the amazing things, but we get to enjoy them together. Um, the spot that we're at actually has a cool restaurant on the beach, so we might even have some lunch there before we head on home.
smoked oysters. You gotta try them. I don't know. You gotta try them. I... Try one. Oh gosh. You can you can make an ew face. I'm not... Is this the first time you've ever had one? It's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> Seems like a hard note. I don't know where to go. Why did you do this to me? Good thing you bought a, two things of them. Swallowed. Baby bird oil. <laughs> just put it in the ground oil. Pick it up in a heartbeat. I think you just did it maybe over there. Maybe. It's gonna happen fast. So, Did they judge, see? Judgment, Did judgment see? on smoked oysters? Why? Smoked, Why'd you do that to me? Smoked oysters are a no. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode and a huge thanks to Next Adventure and Seth West for the kayaks and showing us how it's done. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell so you can see upcoming videos and we'll see you on the next adventure.